Good afternoon guys, I hope you're well. As you can see, it's an absolutely stunning day here at Red Libbits. The weather certainly has turned and it seems to be with us for the foreseeable future as well. So great news for us golfers and for our greenkeepers. Now I think it's a prudent time to reflect and appreciate the work of our greenkeepers. They work phenomenally hard, whatever weather conditions they encounter and the work that they do on the greens with their little and often approach really does benefit our playing surfaces as well as our ability to play. So this is as opposed to the vast majority of courses which conduct major course and greens maintenance um, during this time, putting in massive holes and lots of sand causing major disruption to, to your play. And, uh, and this isn't something um, we have to worry about here with uh, their hard work and their little and often approach. So just want to say a big thank you um, for their work. They have done a, a verticut this week, but uh, it's almost as if you would never know um, if you are playing here this week. Now we've got lots going on. So this Saturday we have the Wig Trophy. So that is the last of our Order of Merit events. So for those of you that are new to Red Libbits and you don't know about the Race de la 2K, it's a series of six events that we host here um, as an Order of Merit. Uh, whereby you get points for depending on how you finish and the winner of the uh, competition for the men and the ladies they get a trip to the 2k now it's a uh, it's a phenomenal um, perk that we do have to membership one that um, that I haven't seen at other courses so uh, I'm really pleased to be uh, to be finishing off this year's uh, in style. So the top eight lady ladies can actually win this weekend, uh, as well as the top four men. So, um, so it should be a, a great round and uh, I wish you guys uh, the very best of luck. On Saturday, we have a, um, a number of football matches as well. So we've got the, uh, the England ladies, so England versus Colombia in the quarterfinals. So they managed to get through the last 16 of that penalty shootout, really dramatic and um, yeah, looking forward to seeing if we can uh, make it past Colombia. We've got the return of the Premier League. So we have Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest and kick off at 12.30. So that obviously uh, runs alongside the, uh, the England game. So we will be in the players lounge and we will have um, two TVs for the uh, England game and another TV for the, uh, the Arsenal game. And then later on in the day, we have Newcastle versus Aston Villa. So that, uh, that should be a great game also. Kickoff is at 5.30. And then on Sunday, um, we've got some big matches. So we've got Brentford versus Tottenham from two o'clock. And then uh, the big one, um, Chelsea versus Liverpool at 4.30. So, um, so that will also be in the, uh, in the players lounge as well. Next week on Tuesday, we have the quiz night. So uh, that's from 7.30, five pound per person. And, uh, and that includes uh, some nibbles as well. So to get yourselves booked in, contact Anne. That's Anne at redlimits.com or just pop in and see her in the clubhouse. And then next Saturday, we have the Ambassadors Cup. So that's a mixed stable food. Entry closes this Sunday at 2 p.m. So don't miss out on that. The following week we have Pink Day on Wednesday the 23rd and then the following week after that, the first weekend of September, we have Club Champs. Now sign up is already open for Club Champs, um, so make sure you get that weekend booked off and, uh, and you get your names down to play. The last thing I wanted to mention is that we have a summer barbecue, summer party. So that is on Sunday the 27th of August. We have live music from Ellie Rose from 1 till 4 with the barbecue from 1 o'clock onwards. So that will be on our What's On page where you'll be able to see exactly how you can uh, register interest and uh, put your name down. So as I said, it's absolutely phenomenal here today. We do have tea times available this week, so make sure you make the most of the weather and uh, you get down here.